45-yard attempt. His career long is 41 yards. He nailed a 29-yarder as time expired against URI last week. The snap is down, the hold. And Jason Hughes has a new career high through the air. 45-yard strike to put UNH on the board. Brosmer completes Charles Briscoe. The redshirt freshman from Bowie, Maryland. No Brosmer handing to Lauby, squirting through. Touchdown, New Hampshire. Again, left side of the offensive line. Riley Burns, the pulling guard. You have Osho Omoyeni in on there as well. Big Jack. Trying to get something going, held to 14 total yards in that opening quarter. Daniel Parr, still nowhere to go. That is Brian Carter, the junior from Port St. Lucie, Florida. Ohio Division I, playing for Lakewood. Brosmer darts, Espinette the catch. He comes through at the most crucial times. First downs, chunk plays, number 80, Brian Espinette getting his first starting chances as a Wildcat, and he is thriving. It's that back shoulder throw. Brosmer completed it earlier to Nick Lorden on the touchdown drive, and this is, again, man coverage. Just underthrow it slightly on purpose so Espinette knows when to turn and make the catch before Williams forces him out. And the hounding the secondary does with five DBs. 39-yard kick for Hughes. He uses the right upright to tickle that one in. But only had one first down in this game. Four New Hampshire sacks in that first half. May have thrown par for a loop for the rest of the afternoon. Pop Lacey reels in that punt. Splitting to his right. Now he's straight ahead, plus territory for the Wildcats for their first offensive drive of the second half. Pop Lacey with two positive punt returns today. On third down, Wildcats four for nine today, upping their percentage on the season. Missile through the middle. It's caught. New Hampshire first down. What a connection with freshman Griffin Helm. True freshman finds true freshman. Eight defensive backs, only three linemen, so plenty of time. And how about the kid Helm makes the catch over the middle, showing no fear as Davon Ellison sticks him after the play, and he hangs on to the ball. Great throw, better catch. Really loud here and forcing Duquesne to change it up on the fly. Intercepted New Hampshire, Prince Smith Jr. Squirming through tackles. And the Wildcats have their second takeaway of the season. Prince Smith Jr. pick number one of 2019. Fourth and seven, Duquesne desperate for points. Going for it. Par. Shot downfield again, Coles broken up. Payback for Thompson. Thompson was the one victimized earlier, but this time he stays with it. The ball is perfectly dropped in the bucket for what appears to be six points for Taylor, but you'll see Thompson at the last instant knock it away. And you can't throw it better than that, and you can't cover it any better than Thompson did. I was just going to say, man, you're going to get people who, oh, a fourth down that the Wildcats are going from their own 35? <laughs> well, how about that for a gutsy call from Rick Sansel? I'm looking for the punter to come out there. Brosmer, though, keeps, and he's going to have the first down. Now, Coach Mack, wherever he's watching, might have had a different thought on that one, but <laughs> that, that's, a, that's a brave call right there, using those big offensive linemen. Matt Massia basically just shoved Brosmer forward, whether Max was ready or not, to move the chains and keep this drive going. Dave, commanding lead over the Dukes here in the fourth quarter. Brosmer settles in the pocket, darts downfield, that's caught. Griffin Helm, I mean, talk about a breakout party. He's had two catches, first two of his career, and both have been unbelievable. C took a big shot last time, but how about this? Look at Helm go up, two defenders there. 
I know that the redshirt rule, you don't want to play your kids necessarily more than four games. Well, so Griffin Helm, they're burning that redshirt when you make plays like that. You're established. Well, keep it product of Central Catholic High School in Lawrence from Lowell, Massachusetts. Nice play, bouncing to the outside, Carlos Washington. Roaring into the red zone for UNH. And two in this game today. Up the middle, big hole from the 28. Evan Gray, first touchdown of the season. Seventy-two yards. Well, Evan had the career-high performance last week, but he couldn't get into the end zone. He was taunting himself on social media, saying, too slow, what are you doing? He was determined this week to finally get into the end zone. He basically said it on the coach's radio show, and he backed up his words, going to the house, and the offense does get something to celebrate here late in this one. Brosmer takes one more knee. He is fired up, and he should be. 17 for 31 passing for 202 yards. The defense was outstanding. And the Wildcats in their first ever meeting with the Duquesne Dukes throttle them 23 to 6.